In this video, we are going to separate the parts of our main code to outside. Like for example, in this printing of the menu, it can be done with a separate function for it. Print menu. And this is the usual practice to free the main with codes that can be modularized or separated. So we have separated the printing of the menu and we can simply print this or call the function print menu here. And then it will take care of the scanning of the choice and put it in the variable choice. We can also um, take out the case one content and put it in a uh, separate function by simply copy pasting this one and define a another void function void simply means that it will it will not return anything to the caller so we have this submenu one and we could also transfer submenu two routine into the other outside submenu one void submenu two and let's just not accept any input parameters for now and with this we could simplify debugging by isolating the trouble to these modules like the submenu 2 module and the submenu 1 module and that's it so let's try to run this one compile if it still behaves correctly so gcc dash all uh, that is menu 3 dot c ah i am not in the desktop so let's see the desktop gcc menu Let's see output menu three. Okay, so let's try to run it. Um, same behavior, it printed the main menu. I could press one for the sub menu one, I could go back to the main menu, I could press two for the sub menu, and exit main and exit the program.